Hi friends, today I'm here with a sword which probably all of you have seen during my videos and uh, it is this Paul Beans sword, uh, type 14 and uh, today I want to do the review of this sword um, mostly because uh, years have passed uh, since I have uh, uh, bought it and um, I have already made a review in the past years uh, after just some weeks of uh, after buying the sword and um, no, of course now, now I had uh, almost four years to test it and uh, train with it and uh, so I have a far better uh, view about the qualities of this sword. So uh, let's start. So um, generally Paul Beans work uh, as uh, with custom swords so you can say to him uh, uh, like measures and um, of course the the type of the sword uh, if you ask for a type 14 generally will probably be more or less like this uh, you can probably do a slightly uh, longer um, handle or uh, or blade but generally it will be uh, like this at, at least all the type 14 which I have seen and this is not because he wants to do only this kind of uh, type 14 probably if you ask he will, may, may also change the, the form of the blade or whatever but uh, this is very good because uh, it is uh, in the middle way of um, a very uh, strong blade which doesn't flex uh, when you bind against the opponent's sword but at the same time if you try to to stab someone, it, um, it flex enough to doesn't hurt your, uh, the opponent. So um, it is quite safe. Speaking about measures, it is uh, uh, overall uh, um, um, 86, 87 centimeters longer, this one, uh, with a handle which is uh, almost 10 centimeters longer. Now, uh, my one is 9.7 because I have personally decided for this measure. Uh, the pommel is very comfortable, uh, uh, it is uh, well rounded, and uh, especially with uh, uh, after four years of practice, but uh, even in the beginning it was uh, like so. Um, these, uh, these fullers uh, on the blade help to leave a bit of weight and um, they help also to uh, keep the, the blade flexible enough. Uh, the blade is uh, 72 centimeters longer and uh, even if it is quite short compared to other one-handed sword and uh, even quite wide, as I have said before, it is uh, quite flexible. Um, another good point of this sword is uh, it is very resistant. So. I have trained for four years, now speaking uh, um, for the last two years at least uh, at every kind of speed and every kind of uh, intensity. So this uh, weapon um, absorbed like mm, a lot of uh, impact of different uh, power and the edge after four years is almost the same. So I don't even add to like take uh, too much care about uh, this sword because uh, it is a very strong sword. That said, uh, some mm, little downside about uh, this sword in particular. Uh, if you look uh, at the handle, this was not the handle that this sword, uh, this sword had before. Now, after I, uh, I had my sword, which had a very wide handle uh, attached to the um, uh, to the cross guard, which uh, become uh, this uh, this wide in the end, which was a very big and very hard to to handle. Um, it comes like this, and uh, so I have tried to to um, work with it um, as it was but uh, it was not possible so I had to change the handle and uh, even if uh, sadly uh, Paul Bean said to me try to not modify too much the sword because it is not a, a good thing for the structure I had to do so uh, simply because my hand uh, 
can't uh, handle the uh, the sword in, in a good way. So uh, I had uh, uh, this uh, this work was made by uh, my friend of Maleus Martialis that changed the the handle of the sword. They cut uh, a little bit of the uh, of the handle of the of the tongue, and uh, and then they. Um, uh, they uh, re-wrapped the, the, the handle over it. Now, uh, Paul Beans, uh, after my sword, uh, um, decided to change the handle because uh, he read my review of the parts. So, you will probably not uh, find this problem, the problem that I found, uh, but you will find a more um, thin handle if you uh, buy a sword from him. You can even specify if you are scared about this for uh, uh, making specifically a more thin end. But uh, uh, as I have seen uh, in the past years, he has started to do uh, more thin handles and um, they are quite good. So this problem is probably no more. That said, uh, how it cost now? Um, Speaking about me, I am uh, uh, in the in the rest of Europe, which is, use euro and not pounds. So uh, the change uh, uh, change always, <laughs> and um, so it depends. the The cost is more or less, uh, let's say, uh, 500 euros, more or less. It can be at least uh, when I about it. Um, it can be uh, slightly more or slightly lesser. But uh, more or less is uh, uh, 500 euros. Now I don't know if uh, uh, Paul Beans changed uh, his method of production and just lowered uh, a lot uh, the the price or whatever. But uh, this is the price that I know. So um, it uh, it is worth this price. Now with the change that uh, he made, um, there is. Uh, a good number of uh, competitors about this kind of swords now, but uh, they are one a uh, good training sword because of the characteristic that uh, I have said before. So uh, it is worth it. It is a bit expensive. You can find um, more or less the same quality of uh, a sword uh, from other productors, but uh, there is some kind of thing. Uh, which are uh, very uh, specific of the sword, uh, like for example the the ability to flex uh, this much uh, with uh, um, um, a blade so wide, uh, which I have not seen in other sword, uh, swords. So this uh, this uh, thing is a very good point um, for uh, pole beams. So if you are training um, a good sword for training. That you, you know it will last almost forever, probably because it's, it is so resistant. Um, buy this sword, it is worth it. Uh, it is quite expensive, but every time, uh, as people say, sometimes if you spend more, you will spend the lesser because uh, it will last for very, very long. That said, I hope this review will help you. If you have uh, some question, I have forgotten to say something. No problem. Just write under the uh, this video your question. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.